Crafting with the Crazy Hair Kids. Hi, I'm Kevin. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm Kamari. I'm Kelly. Hi, I'm Kyle. I'm Kiara. We're the Crazy Hair Kids. We're Khalil and Keisha. We're the parents. We may pop in from time to time if you need a little help. We love music, and we love making our own musical instruments. We hope you'll love making musical instruments, too. Let's get started! Hi, everyone. I'm Miss Frida, and thank you for joining us today for our craft of making a maraca. I'd like also to thank my crazy hair kid friends for inviting me here today. So let's get started. What we're, you know what we're going to need. We've got our spoons, we've got our eggs, we've got beans and rice, and I have some tape, and it's that simple. So let's start. First, take one of your eggs, and you're going to want to put some rice or some beans. I'm going to do two. I'll do some rice, and let's see how rice sounds when you're putting rice in here. You want to seal it, hold it at both ends. You don't want to shake this and have rice go everywhere. So let's listen. Not bad, I like that sound. Let me then see if I like my beans better, and you can decide what you like better. So I'm going to put a few beans. Whoa! If you make a mess, make sure you clean up because mom and dad don't want to have to go around cleaning up after you. So let's see which we like better. Ooh, that's a great sound. That's also a great sound. You can decide which you would rather have. Once you've got your egg with either your rice or beans inside, you need to make sure it doesn't fly apart. So take a little bit of tape, and right at the seam of the egg, you want to put some tape. It's probably best to put it on both sides so that it holds better, and it's less likely to fall apart. Then you're going to want to take some more tape. Oopsie, my tape isn't working well, so I'm going to have to find the beginning again. That may happen with you, but that's okay. Just, you can ask a parent, or you can just play with the tape till you find the end. Look at that, I found the end really easily. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of tape, and I'm going to put it on the other one. But you may only do one at a time, and that's okay. Decide what you're doing, put your tape on. Then take your spoons. I'm going to use these spoons. Your spoons don't have to be blue. I just happen to have pretty blue spoons. First, I want both of the spoons facing each other, and I want to take either a rubber band or more tape and hold this to tape them together. So I think I'll use tape so we can tape this together so it doesn't come apart. And if you tape this together first, I'll show you why this is the reason you want to tape your spoon first. Once you have your spoons taped, they fit together kind of tightly. So you want to pull them apart and squish your egg down in there. And look at this. I already have one maraca done. This doesn't take long. If you'd like to make more than one, because I think we're going to make sure you have more than one egg, I'm just going to show you that you don't have to use smaller spoons. So I brought two larger spoons today. Again, I'm going to tape those together, just like this. And since these have longer handles, I'm going to tape it a couple different places. There we go. And remember, that causes it to be a little tighter at the top, so you can squish that egg right in there. And let's see how it sounds. So you can have a louder maraca or a quieter maraca, and we're done. But there's another little secret. If you want and you have colored tape, 
You can do colored tape around the bottom too. These sound really good. You can make all kinds of music with these. But there's also another way you can make bottle shakers that sound a lot like maracas. You're still going to need your rice and your beans and some other things. But I have a few other things here. Whoa, lots of other things. You'll need an empty bottle. I happen to get this empty bottle from someone who lives with me. And I'm going to fill that bottle. Now here's one thing. If you're using large things to put in there, you may not need your bottle, but if you're putting small things like rice, you may need to have a funnel to help get everything inside. My funnel hole is kind of small, so I'm just going to put rice whoa in this one. Because if it's not too small, you may have to shake it to get everything to go inside, just like I'm doing. Just like that. And then you put the cap on. Now this doesn't look very attractive, does it? So you may need to ask your parents or use your scissors to try to cut this little wrapper off. It's usually used loose in one spot and mine doesn't want to cooperate with me today. But once you get it started, just peel that wrapper off and it's nice and clear. See, mine doesn't want to come off and yours may not either, but that's okay. Just keep working. And once you get that off, see, that makes for a nice, loud maraca. You can decide which you like better for listening to. But if you want to hold this more like a maraca, you're going to need your toilet paper tubes. I discovered something just by chance. That if you have a toilet paper roll, it fits perfectly on a Gatorade bottle. But don't trust it's going to stay there by itself. You're going to still want to tape this onto your bottle. And I have a suggestion. Run some of your tape from the top to the bottom and it anchors it much, much better if you do it that way. As you can tell, I'm working outside, so sometimes you'll hear, hear dogs barking or birds chirping, but that's okay. Once you have this taped on, you can hold it better. Not very pretty, is it? Well, it's okay. But if you have other colors of tape, you might want to design yours with different stripes of tape around it. I've got duct tape in different colors. Sometimes the stuff tears well, sometimes you need to cut it. But make sure you're using blunt and scissors so you don't cut yourself. That would not be very good. And see how much prettier it looks when you start decorating. If you want, you can just leave your roll the way it is and maybe use your markers or your crayons or stickers to put on it. But I think it really looks pretty if we put some nice colorful tape around here. So I'm going to do that. And bingo, I've got another musical instrument to play with. While you're looking at things that make noise, you don't have to use just rice and beans. I found some necklaces out of beads, and I put those in one. Listen, all the different sounds you can make. Or, look at this. I raided the office and got some paper clips. Or if you have crafting beads, how about using these? Now, I told you that a toilet paper roll fits the top of Gatorade perfectly. It doesn't fit this perfectly. You have your choice. You can either put it on like this and then tape it on, or use your scissors and cut your roll all the way from top to the bottom. Put this around and let it overlap. See? And here's where you use your tape again. 
then tape that on so it fits tightly. My toilet paper rolls want to be taped on. And then that will hold. After you make sure you tape this together to itself. And remember what we did before. We taped it all the way to the bottle. See? You can even use your colored tape if you'd like. Here's a secret. Duct tape likes to tear easily. Well, maybe not too easily. But you can use that and tape it even further. And see how that looks kind of all scrunched up? You can always cover that tape. Now, where did my scissors go? Hmm. You can use that tape and tape it that way to the bottle. And then, so it looks neater, then put your tape around this way. And again, use your imagination. Let's see how you can end up with all these different morocos. And you can go around the house and play with your music and sing. So I hope that's it for today with our maracas, but I hope you'll join us tomorrow when we'll do another craft. Thank you for joining us today. Bye-bye.